for a government elected with so many votes in Quebec, the political cost of not helping Bombardier has to be reckoned with. The company insists it needs the money. The participation from the Kenyan government into the program is very critical. The provincial Liberal government has already chipped in a billion dollars and is demanding that Ottawa do the same. There is no way, no way that the federal government should not invest in Bombardier in the C-Series. If the auto industry has been supported by taxpayer money, which is fine, then the aeronautical industry of Montreal needs also to be supported. Those who are not the federal NDP strongly agrees. Obviously, after having seen that company spend $5 billion to build the C-Series, now the federal government has to step up to the plate and help them get past this criti critical phase. How many jobs have to be lost before the Prime Minister will finally act? But the Prime Minister would not say if he'll pay up. Unfortunately, inflamed rhetoric and shouting isn't going to solve the problem. He didn't say what will solve the problem, although one of his ministers said selling more planes could help. This is the best airplane in the world in its class, and all of us should be hoping that Bobalti is going to be sell selling hundreds of these aircraft in the months and years to come. But they should sell them without any federal subsidy, say the Conservatives. Instead of giving subsidies to, to Bombardier or other businesses, I think we must have a policy that would be fair for every businesses. So stop subsidize, direct subsidize to businesses and lower taxes to all businesses. On the other hand, government bailouts of struggling industries have a long tradition under both conservatives and liberals. Besides that, Bombardier is up against competitors like Airbus in Europe and Boeing in the US, both of which are awash in government cash. The question is whether the Canadian government can afford to play in that league, Peter. All right, Terry, thank you.